used in last data sets and it's great performance. If we zoom in, we can actually see the different points that are actually symbolizing that data. And that's all of the wonderful information. Now, how did we actually collect this data? How is this actually occurring? Well, there's a little video to show you. There's actually a truck driving down the road to be capturing this data, probably traveling quite fast and, okay, not following that at all. But this is the state of the art mobile LIDAR collection system that illuminates targets and lasers, measuring their distances, analyzing the reflective information, allowing us to pick up the trees, the signs, and the various types of information that come along the way. And I'm gonna pause this video and come back to this data set. So with this LIDAR data set, what we're able to do is bring out the last toolbar that we have, and actually even visualize this information in ArcMap in a 3D format. Seconds, and here we have it. So this is wonderful LIDAR information that we can see right inside ArcMap. Now you might be thinking, what are some real life application of this information? Well, let's switch gears into ArcScene. The exact same information that now a utility company can leverage for vegetation encroachment analysis on their power lines right away. Essentially, if we took a look at the side, we can see that the power line is pretty much picked up. So we can easily digitize this line. Once we've digitized this line, we can now use some ArcMaps tools. In this case, I'm sure most of you have used the buffer tool, but I'm actually gonna do a 3D buffer. So I'm gonna choose my power line. I'm gonna do a two meter buffer in high quality. Click OK, and it goes back and runs the analysis. We're gonna go back to the front view. And pretty soon, in a couple more seconds, we're gonna see this 3D buffer that I've created. Now, right off the bat, if we take a look at this, we can see some of the vegetation is encroaching, but it's still hard to investigate. So I'm gonna use my 3D effects toolbar, select my buffer, and then make it hollow so that if I was the utility manager looking to see what type of resources, manpower, equipment I need to send out there, I would be able to fly through and see the severity of the issue and be able to dictate what type of equipment I should have. So here we have it. We can see how a utility manager can use this information for assignment at work, bringing out the equipment. A quick demonstration of 